The tools needed to install your KNN 69-6012 air intake system are a socket set, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a 10 mm wrench, and a 3 mm Allen wrench. To begin the installation, turn off the vehicle's ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Disconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Remove the two bolts that secure the engine cover and then remove the engine cover from the vehicle. Release the blue locking tabs on the crankcase vent hose where it attaches to the stock intake tube. Unhook the crankcase vent hose from the intake tube. Release the locking tabs and then unhook the crankcase vent from the valve cover port. Loosen the two hose clamps that secure the intake tube to the air filter and turbo inlet tube. Release the two air box lid locking clips and then remove the air box lid from the vehicle. Remove the intake tube from the vehicle. Next, remove the two bolts shown and then remove the front air box mounting bracket from the vehicle. The bolt that secures the bracket to the core support will be reused in a later step. Unhook the fresh air duct from the air box and then remove it from the vehicle. Remove the lower air box from the vehicle. K&N recommends that customers do not discard their factory air intake. Remove the two air box mounting grommets. Cut and remove the small piece of tape securing the mass air sensor harness. Install the provided silicone hose onto the turbo inlet tube and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Be sure to position the hose clamp so that there is clearance for the engine wiring harness. Install the provided rubber mounted stud onto the airbox mounting bracket using the provided hardware. Be sure to place fender washers on either side of the airbox mounting bracket. Next, install the provided edge trim onto the heat shield. Some trimming will be necessary. Install the heat shield mounting bracket onto the heat shield and secure it with the provided hardware. Install the heat shield into position on the airbox mounting bracket, then secure the heat shield with the provided hardware. The mounting bracket will attach the core support with the bolt removed in step 3. Be sure to use a fender washer to attach the heat shield to the airbox mounting bracket. Remove the screws securing the mass air sensor and then remove the mass air sensor from the upper airbox. Install the mass air sensor into the K&N intake tube and secure it with the provided hardware. Install the provided NPT fitting into the K&N air intake tube. Install the tube mounting bracket onto the K&N intake tube. Remove the pop-off valve cover upper mounting bolt. Install the K&N intake tube assembly into the silicone hose at the turbo inlet pipe and align the bracket with the pop-off valve mounting location. Be sure to place the provided spacer between the bracket and the pop-off valve. Secure the intake tube with the provided hose clamp and hardware. Install the provided crankcase vent hose onto the NPT fitting in the K&N intake tube and then attach the open end to the valve cover port. Reinstall the engine cover and secure it with the factory bolts. Install the K&N air filter onto the intake tube and secure it with the provided hose clamp. Reconnect the mass air sensor electrical connection. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. After 100 miles of driving, check the nuts and bolts and re-tighten if necessary.